beloved Broadway and television star Angela Lansbury has died at 96. She had many credits to her name, but perhaps made her greatest mark playing a widow with a knack for solving murders. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more on her life and times. Dick. Marisa Christine, her career spanned generations, Hollywood, Broadway, TV, even animated films. She fled war and pursued fame. It came over seven decades, and in a sense, everybody kind of knew her, but from different roles, depending on your age. Angela Lansbury was one of the last big stars from Hollywood's golden age. She played hundreds of characters on theatrical stages. Ah, customer! What, what you rush, what you hurry? You gave me such a fright, I thought she was the ghost half a minute. Can't you sit, sit you down, sit? And in films during her eight-decade career. Fletcher. But she's probably best known for a television role playing Jessica Fletcher, a retired school teacher from Cabot Cove, Maine, who solved murder mysteries as she wrote whodunit novels. Murder, she wrote, ran on CBS for 12 seasons and brought the actress worldwide acclaim. I am counting on you to bring some kind of order into all of that chaos. Angela Bridget Lansbury was born in London in 1925. Her father died when she was nine, causing her to turn to playing characters to cope with his death. Their family moved to the United States in 1940 to escape the Blitz in World War II. And Angela's self-proclaimed complete movie maniac studied acting in New York City. She signed with MGM, where she appeared in more than a dozen Hollywood films, including National Velvet, playing Elizabeth Taylor's older sister. What does it feel like to be in love with a horse? She received her first Golden Globe Award and two Oscar nominations for her portrayal as a working-class singer, Sybil Vane, in The Picture of Dorian Gray in 1945. Lansbury also found success on Broadway, gaining stardom in her first of five Tony Awards as the lead character in the musical Mame. Some of her other memorable roles, including an appearance in Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Oh, you'll find what you want in the Portobello. Later in life, she lent her voice to animated films, including Beauty and the Beast and Anastasia. She rounded out her golden years, appearing in occasional films well into her 90s. I'm interested in, in every part of life. In other words, not just acting. At the age of 93, she told Larry King she had no plans to retire. I'll probably pass away, you know, with one hand, <laughs> one hand on my script. One hand on her script. Among her many honors, in addition to those five Tony Awards, she received an honorary Oscar in 2013 and was named a Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire. Lansbury told the New York Times, I wasn't very good at being a starlet. I didn't want to pose for those cheesecake photos and that kind of thing. But Maurice and Christine, it seemed to all work out. I was going to yes. say, yeah. it worked out really well. Pretty good. Dame Commander. How about that? Yeah. An original, that's for sure, Dick. Thank you. Thanks so much. With a career spanning eight decades, Angela Lansbury's early work came in black and white. Life is war. Don't count the casualties. She was born in London in 1925, and it was in a downtown Montreal nightclub that Lansbury made her stage debut, having to conceal that she was just 16. Nobody ever asked me what age I was. It was a wonder that I even got across the border, truthfully. You don't know what you've missed, sir. Her rookie performance on screen in Gaslight in 1944 <laughs> earned the first of three Academy Award nominations. She was careful not to be typecast. I was a young character actress. And the, these days, that word is a dirty word in our business, character actress. Though she was often given the role of mother. Why don't you pass the time by playing a little solitaire? Like in 1962, cast in The Manchurian Candidate as Lawrence Harvey's mom, though she was only three years older than him. Lansbury wowed Broadway in Mame in 1966, winning her first Tony Award. Another four trophies would follow. She was an extraordinary presence on, on stage. Uh, you know, she knew how to draw your eye to her. It was 80s TV that made her a household name, with the role of writer and sleuth Jessica Fletcher in Murder, She Wrote. True as it can be. Her voice became familiar to a new generation in the 90s, playing Mrs. Potts in Disney's Beauty and the Beast. While on stage, she kept performing into her 90s. I'll probably pass away, you know, with one hand, <laughs> one hand on my script. At age 96, Lansbury died at her Los Angeles home. Her life dedicated to her craft 
until the end. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto. Now pull yourself together. Pay attention. One of Hollywood's oldest stars and one of Broadway's best-known leading ladies has died. Angela Lansbury passed away today at the age of 96. Her career spanned decades, a top star on Broadway and a movie star in Hollywood. And later in life, a beloved television star in a hit series. KCAL 9 Entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez takes a look back on Lansbury's career. Angela Lansbury was one of the last big stars from Hollywood's golden age. She played hundreds of characters on theatrical stages and in films during her eight-decade career. My name is Jessica Fletcher. I'm sorry to she is probably best known for her television role, playing Jessica Fletcher, a retired school teacher from Maine who solved murder mysteries as she wrote whodunit novels. Murder, she wrote, ran on CBS for 12 seasons and brought the actress worldwide acclaim. But I thought I knew where the treasure might be found. She was born in London in 1925. Her father died when she was nine, causing her to turn to playing characters to cope with his death. Her family moved to the U.S. in 1940 to escape the Blitz in World War II, and Angela, a self-proclaimed complete movie maniac, studied acting in New York. What does it feel like to be in love with a horse? She received her first Golden Globe and two Oscar nominations for her portrayal as working-class singer Sybil Vane in The Picture of Dorian Gray in 1945. She also found success on Broadway, gaining stardom and her first of five Tonys as the lead character in the musical Mame. Later in life, she lent her voice to animated movies, including Beauty and the Beast and Anastasia. She rounded out her golden years, appearing in movies well into her 90s. I'm interested in, in every part of life. In other words, not just acting but everything that is given to us as human beings to in, indulge ourselves in in our lives at 93 she told larry king she had no plans to retire I think so. I'll, I'll probably pass away you know with one hand <laughs> one hand on my script among her many honors in 2014 the british native was named a dame commander of the order of the british empire suzanne marquez kcal 9 news